guys and welcome back to another All Heart video. I hope everybody had a wonderful and safe holiday season. I know that we are basically recording this um, at least two weeks later than I should have, so please excuse me for that delay. For today's video, I wanted to share with you the items that my little girl received for her very first birthday. Can you believe it? I felt like I just had her and now she is already turning one and she is running around and doesn't want basically any help from anyone. She's trying to do everything on her own. She's very, very independent and you know, she's one. Um, by no means is this going to be a very long or stretched out video since we just had Christmas, you know, her birthday falls like two weeks afterwards, but I did want to share with you uh, the types of toys that we ended up getting. A lot of these toys are items that you can purchase, not just for that first year, but these are gifts that you can really give um, at any age. So um, hopefully if you guys are shopping around for gifts for um, your kiddos, whether they're one, two, three, five, six, a lot of these items kind of fall within those categories because they are just really wonderful open-ended toys that they'll be able to enjoy for years to come. So with that, let me go ahead and share those with you. So the very first item that I picked out for my daughter was the Guidecraft Peekaboo lock boxes. Guys, you are really going to love these. So let me kind of share with you the reason why I decided to go with this one. So for Christmas, my mother-in-law got her this. Now this, if you're a Montessori parent, I'm sure that you are incredibly familiar with. They are tackling basically one skill at a time and that is just placing the ball inside and knowing that the ball is gonna pop back up. So she got this for Christmas. Right away, we opened it up, gave it to her. Right away, she just grabbed the balls, popped it in, popped it in, popped it in. I mean, we did not have to explain one thing. She just knew exactly what to do. Now, ask me if she is still playing with this toy. No, she doesn't want it. She is basically like, look guys, I've already mastered this toy. I need to move on to something else. So, you know, being her mom, of course, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take up that challenge and I'm gonna find something else so that she can continue practicing those skills. But I also wanted something um, else that would give her a different skill point to work up to. So that is why I decided to go with this one. So I've already taken the sets out of the box. It is this one right here. So as you can see, it is six different lock boxes with six different locking mechanisms that she will have to master. Now at the top is where you will find all of the different shapes. So let me show you one by one. So like this one, red so you can see that she can color match she can also place the desired shape into the slot and then she will learn how to open the little door so for the time being even though there are six and i do leave them all on the tray i will only present one of them so that she works on one and i do not lock the door i leave the door closed so that right now she is at least opening the door and taking the shape out and then working on fitting the shape in correctly. Um, but we are only working on one at a time. Now, if I move all of these out of the way, I will show you the bottom of the tray because she can also color match with the tray. So she knows exactly which tray is supposed to go onto which corresponding slot, which is a really nice addition, especially when you're spending a lot more on wooden toys. It's nice that you can figure out different ways in which to use them. So it's not just a box where she could place the shape in and then take it out and then that's it. So she will be working towards all of these different skills um, as she continues to grow. So the other thing that I really loved about these is that it's got that see-through peekaboo box. 
So we place this when we are playing, uh, we have a really nice window here in our playroom. So we'll place this right by the window and she's able to uh, peek at the shape inside. She will open the little door and take it out and then start again. So these have been really, really nice. So if you guys are looking for a shape sorter, one that isn't like crazy busy, I've seen the bigger ones that have like the different shapes um, all in one item. And that just, to me personally, I feel like that's a little bit more challenging because then they're trying to fit the, uh, the shapes into the different slots. And sometimes they don't know which is supposed to go into which, and it just looks a little busier to me. So I really love that this is basically one box, one shape, one lock. So it's been really, really nice. So again, that is the Guidecraft Peekaboo lock boxes. So the next item was a pretty big item and it is the Grimm's Large Stepped Pyramid. These blocks are so, so beautiful. And it was actually surprising to me to kind of look around our playroom and be like, you know, we don't really have any just regular blocks. And the ones that we did have, they have a, like a shiny coating like the, um, a protective sealant on them so they're very slippery so a lot of times when my children would try to to build with those they would slip and they would fall and they would just kind of struggle with them and they weren't very high quality ones to begin with so i had no problem just kind of you know putting those to the side and you know when my daughter got this for her birthday we were just so excited because this set is beautiful it comes with i believe five different levels of blocks. So let me go ahead and um, kind of show you up close what these look like. So these are the blocks right here and we've already set them up into this pyramid shape. So the smallest blocks look like this. And they look like little cubes. And it's awesome because each step up is exactly the size of a cube. So it's really awesome when they're building things because they know that in order to build one of these, they're going to need two cubes and so on and, and so forth. So it's been kind of like a nice uh, math game that we've been playing as well. So we've got the smaller one, then we have the one that is right next to that. So let me go ahead and place them over here. Then we have the third largest, and then the fourth, and then the biggest ones in the center. So as you can see, a lot of the Grimm's toys do not have, actually any of the Grimm's toys have that protective coating. So they are a little bit rough uh, to the touch, not at all like so rough that it hurts your hands or anything, but um, if you do have a child with sensory issues, then I'm not sure if this is something that they're going to enjoy. But like I said, there's, it's still pretty smooth, but it does have a little bit of that rough, unfinished sensation to it. Um, but I actually prefer that because then it really grips the blocks really well so that you're able to build higher towers. And that is something that my children have just really, really been enjoying. So this is the Grimm's Stepped Pyramid. Yes, it is quite pricey, but it is definitely worth it. And like I said, my children have been playing with it nonstop. My little girl, my other little girl, and my son have all been playing together. So this is just a toy that they can all enjoy at once. You know, that's the other thing that I love about these wooden toys is that because they are open-ended, all of my children get to enjoy them. So that's why I said these are toys that you can pretty much purchase at, you know, different time frames, especially the blocks. Blocks are something that you could give a child of any age and you know that they're going to really come to enjoy it. So now it. let's come so to our third item, which is this one right here. This is the Fat Brain Kids Stacking Toy. So my daughter has really been loving this. Yes, it is made out of a plastic, but it's a very kind of a smooth plastic. It's got almost like a little bit of a grip to it. So it's really 
pleasing to the senses. And my daughter, like I said, has really been enjoying it because it's very, very easy to use. So in order to unlock this, all you have to do is pull. And then as you point the structure down, they begin to roll down. So then she gets to start all over again. We're able to take the stick, place it back onto that little dowel, place the dowel back onto the base, and then we're able to fit the shape through and it's able to roll down. So by far, it is a very, very simple toy, but it really does get your child engaged. They love being able to see it spin. And even though my daughter has not mastered by any means placing the items on the dowel, she does hand them to me and she watches at each of them go down and she's really been really focusing on it a lot. So it's been a nice addition to our playroom. And like I said, it is probably the, the easiest toy here, um, the most simple and probably the least expensive one out of the bunch, but um, it's very, very engaging. And you can see that each of them kind of goes up in scale as far as colors go. But like I said, it's a very, very smooth surface. It's not at all like a cheap plastic. So it's, it's a very, very nice quality. Okay, moving right along. So when my middle daughter uh, turned one, I gave her a Waldorf style doll. Um, I know some parents think that maybe giving her a doll that early on, especially a doll that's, you know, quite pricey, Waldorf dolls tend to be pretty expensive, um, would be tough just because they don't know how to take care of them um, that early on. But I thought it was the best decision by far because not only do they see a familiar face as they continue to grow, but they start to learn to care for uh, these items. And I feel like we don't give our children enough credit for being able to take care of their things. And I feel like if, we, if they learn by example uh, that they can take care of these items, even if they um, were pretty expensive, and that's what I've found with uh, my daughter who is now, you know, she'll be five very, very soon. And she's had her doll. I'll post a picture here. I have so many pictures of her and her doll, Alice. They have gone on so many adventures together. Alice is basically a part of our family. She goes to all of our vacations, all of our errands, our shopping, pretty much anywhere Alice is with us. And that is something that just really warms my heart. I love being able to see her have um, this doll that she just loves and she just cares for very, very much. So with my youngest daughter, um, I wanted to give her that too. So even though she is just one, we have Wendy here and Wendy is with her wherever we go as well. Um, I always place her around her toys, um, in her bed, um, next to her blankie, just anywhere so that she's able to see her all the time, everywhere she goes. And she does really go for her and she tries to play with her hair. She doesn't tug at it. She loves looking at her clothes. The one thing that she does like to do is try and take off her shoes. Um, she has little cute crochet shoes here. Um, but in no way is she trying to like pull her hair out or chew on her or anything like that. She kind of keeps her close. And, you know, like I said, Wendy here is, you know, a part of our family now too. So it's nice to see my daughters with a doll that I feel represents them. So that's another thing when I went about choosing a doll for them. I wanted one that they can look at and see themselves, um, if that's making sense. I wanted them to be able to see their features in, in their doll so that they can be like, you know, my doll kind of looks like me. So my daughter's doll has the dark hair um, and the like complexion. And then Wendy has the reddish brown hair, just like my daughter with the really light blue eyes. So they really, really do look alike. And we just love her. So um, I'll go ahead and leave a link 
Now, the shipping did take quite a while, but that's because these dolls were not made here. Alice was made in Poland and Wendy was made in Italy um, by two really, really wonderful ladies. So I'll go ahead and leave them a uh, link down below for you. So the very next item are some sensory toys. Um, I thought that by this age, it's a very good time to start introducing a lot more sensory play um, to her curriculum, I guess you can say. Um, so last year I purchased this Let's Play sensory tray for my children. And yes, it is a little bit pricey, but I can definitely justify the price because one, it's a very, very nice size. It comes with a, a lid that keeps everything nice and just fresh and clean. And it also comes with the six different trays that they can take out, keep everything organized that they're utilizing in order to um, you know, build upon that sensory play. So it's been really, really nice. So this is something that I got my kiddos last year. And this year they came out with a couple of sensory tools that you can use in addition to the tray. So that's what I ended up getting my daughter. So the first thing that they came out with was this silicone Lego mat. And I think it's awesome. Not only is it very thick and sturdy, like really, really high quality, but it comes with the Lego side that allows for the larger, like the dupe, I think it's called the Duplo blocks, which is absolutely perfect for her because, you know, we don't let her play with the little tiny Legos, of course. But on the other side, when she gets a little bigger, then she can utilize it for the smaller Legos. So this was really, really nice and it fits absolutely perfectly on the top of her sensory uh, tray. So I can place her larger Duplo blocks in here and then we can work on, on building. Now, right now, she just kind of starting to connect one or two blocks and that's it and that's perfectly fine. I mean, she's only one, um, but she loves trying to take apart a lot of these. So this keeps everything nice and organized and that's really what's most important to me is to make sure that she knows and she learns that certain items have a home and she knows where to place them and where to play with them. So that is the most important thing um, in order to keep your room tidy is to really start them at that young age, start making sure that they know exactly where things are supposed to go in order to keep things organized. Now, uh, also to go with this tray, I got her these scoopers. So again, this is specific to that brand, the Inspire um, My Play sensory tray. So this is what the little box looks like. So I believe they have another one in a different color. It's got like lighter blues. I, went, I opted for this color, um, but these are so, so sweet. And again, it's got that really soft silicone feel. So they're very, very smooth. It comes in three different sizes and she's able to stack one on top of the other. So these we have been able to use with the tray. If she, um, I put a lot of like little, the bigger pom-poms and she loves just being able to play with them and fill them up and scoop them in here. But we also love to use these in the shower. So she loves being able to scoop um, water with these. So these have been really, really nice. And the last sensory item are these little stacking bowls. So these are again, perfect to use with your sensory tray. I got this color, the lighter blue, and it comes again in three different sizes. This one has like the straining uh, circles on the bottom so that she can run water through. She loves playing with these in the bathtub. So again, really high quality, I, I really, really do love this brand. And like I said, yeah, it is a little bit of an investment, but like I said, a lot of these items you're gonna be able to utilize for a very, very long time as your children you know, continue to grow. Um, so hopefully and you loved those sensory toys. I know I do, I know my daughter does. And we are basically coming down to the last two items that I got my daughter. So um, one of which was this book. My daughter, we 
basically graduated from the uh, the soft books into the thicker board books. She is so into books right now, guys. She As soon as I'm finished reading one, she'll hand me another one and then she'll hand me another one. And we have, you know, a little set of books in our bedroom um, that we read to her just before bed every night. And sometimes we end up repeating the same book over and over because she loves them. But this is one that I highly recommend just because it's got really large, beautiful illustrations. It's got that high contrast that children just really enjoy. And it's very simple because it's just one word. So right now she's really into anything that has to do with animals. She loves animals. So this is just one that we read every single day. And now we are done. Uh, we are not done. Now we are heading over to the very last item. So <clears throat> of course I have to include some wooden animal figures. Um, Although these are not Holtz Tiger and they are not Ozlimer. Yes, they are not. I found this brand on Etsy and you guys, they are so, so good. Like I'm getting like super excited about them because they're so good and they're not as expensive as the Ozlimer ones, but they are the same quality. Um, and let me just go ahead and show them to you. So we did like a tea party themed birthday for my daughter this year. And so of course I have to include, you know, a famous tea party, which would be Alice in Wonderland's tea party. So we had these around her little cake and her little cupcake stand and check these out. These look just like the Ostheimer ones. They have that unfinished feel, very, very smooth. Everything has been completely carved out. They are made out of the same type of wood and they uh, use the same types of dyes. So let me show you one of our princesses just to kind of compare. Okay, and we're back. So this is an Ostheimer princess that we've had for a couple of years. So check it out side by side. I mean, they look so, so similar. Even the um, the way that they're framed and the, the painted faces look very similar as well. And like I said, the, they use the same type of wood. Um, they're both unfinished. They are both very, very soft to the touch. And I was just so excited like, when I saw this. You know, I purchased uh, the the Seven Dwarfs and my daughter already had Snow White, all of the little Ostheimer um, characters for Christmas. Um, so I just thought that, you know, having some of the Alice in Wonderland characters would be really, really fun and something that my daughters will get to enjoy together. Um, so yes, those are the items that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that it gave you plenty of ideas, especially if you have, like I said, kiddos that are about to have a birthday coming up. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Um, in order to get notified of more upcoming videos. Thank you guys for being so patient with me. I know that I haven't been as consistent as I've been in the past, but trust me, this channel will still be here. If you guys have questions, please leave them in the comments below. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you back here very, very soon. Bye.